Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I have an exciting new kit to share with you guys today. One that, uh, you know, kind of close to my heart. You guys know how much I love uh, the Sturmgeschütz uh, or Stug 3. And we have a brand new one that is about to be released from TACOM in their Blitz series. So the Blitz series, what that basically is, is a more simplified version of a model. So you're not dealing with you know, 600 to 1,000 parts to build up a tank this big. They've simplified a lot of stuff. So like inside there'll be link and length track, you know, the, the individuals and then long pieces so you don't have to worry about building all 93 track links on either side. And the really cool thing about this particular kit is it's a really nice kit, nice and detailed. It has two metal gun barrels in it. So it has it for the Sturmhau Bitsa 42 as well as the pack you know the actual regular 75 millimeter cannon plus we have metal side skirts in it and it does have the actual screen skirts on the side too so that was something that the earlier one didn't have when they brought the kit out so it's a really nice looking kit inside and i'm excited to show it this is one i do plan on building when i get a chance i got a lot of other projects working on right now but I just love the uh, the vehicle so much, I will eventually get to it. So, uh, like I said, it's really cool to take a look inside and I wanna show it to you right now. So, let's get started. Okay, let's start off by taking a look at the box. And the reason I want to show you that are some of the other accessories that are easier to point out to on a, a built model or a picture of the built model. So like I was saying earlier, you get both the, uh, the metal barrel in the 105 millimeter as well as the 75 millimeter. But a few other things I forgot to point out too is you also get the rack system that goes in the back and also the remote control machine gun. There's also a couple of different types of mantlets as well, the Salkoff as well as the hard one. So it's quite a few different variants you'll be able to build on this. And then of course you can see we also have the skirts on here as well. That way when I point out all the parts you'll see how you can you know, change this up in quite a few different ways. Okay, the first piece we're gonna look at here is the lower hull. And you can see here that this thing has been slide molded because it's a true bathtub style hull, as you can see. And it has all of this extra detail already molded into the side. And if you watch me build the 16 scale version of this, you see that all that was extra parts you had to add on, but it's actually all in there in nice detail. Now, this particular one is the same lower hull that was on their previous kit, the early version of the Stug and this is shared inside both kits. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, the fenders to the engine deck portion, kind of like the upper part of the hull. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see that they've got the nice texturing on the fenders and all of the detail on the engine deck itself. It's a lot easier when all of those hinges are already molded into place and don't have to attach each one of them. And that goes for up front here as well. And this piece is completely new. It's uh, not shared with the other previous kit. Now we're gonna take a look at another sprue that has all new parts on it. This is also for the late. So right off the top, you can see we've got the return rollers up here and they're the late type that doesn't have any rubber on it. And here is our drive sprocket as well as extra bolts up on the top there. You'll have to cut off for one purpose or another. And two of these sprues are provided in the kit. There is slide molding also on the ends of the uh, tow cables there. I'll show you this one little sprue here. This is the uh, tensioners for the, the idler wheel as well as the jack. That makes me think this is probably a new sprue. No, actually it's off of their Panzer III that they came out with. So that one is a, a recycled piece. And this next one up here. Now this is definitely from the older um, piece because it has the more squared off mantlet. As you can see some of the parts inside here as well as one of the barrels for that. 
Okay, next we are going to take a look at the road wheel slash suspension uh, sprue. Now this is the same sprue that was included in the Panzer III M or N kit that came out, as well as the, the earlier Stug III that came out, because they all use the same road wheels and suspension in it, regardless of which kit it was. And of course, then you get some of the parts that you won't use. This is obviously the earlier drive sprocket. I think the return roll or the idler wheel is the same on both of these. And then you get all the kinds of things like the uh, smoke dischargers. And then there's parts here like this is for the uh, the cupola on the Panzer III. You won't be using it on that. These are the gr top covers for the back of the engine deck. And then of course the older type uh, return rollers. So if you wanted to, you could even probably mix and match because I'm sure not every one of them had all the same. Now this sprue is completely brand new. This one will have, as I was telling you earlier, the two different types of Salkoff mantlets. Here's the new roof and the new roof has the different mount for the machine gun. So this is where the remote control machine gun would go right here. And we've got slide molding done on the uh, the air intakes and they do give you a 105 millimeter slide molded gun and they also have the muzzle brake that if you do decide you want to put the muzzle brake on it we have it on here as well a little bit of a tarp covering to go over the top of the mantlet which the other kit did not have and then of course the actual back of the gun and then it looks like they give you a new new squared off uh, front of the mantlet too to change it so it's got the little hole inside there which I believe is for the machine gun I don't believe that was the site uh, I'd have to check on that but if you know please go ahead and tell me because it's the same thing on here they've got the hole I thought this was for the machine gun but now I'm starting to double think myself that maybe that's for the site but uh, uh, you know like a coax machine gun that would be mounted next up alongside the gun so that whole sprue right there is new and then we have our track sprue. And like I was telling you, they're individual link and then long length of track. And hopefully you can kind of see. This one's already got a sag built into it here. These make it so much easier. I did build that Panzer 3M kit and use these tracks. Went together very, very easily. The longest part of doing any of this is just cutting them all off. And then we have, this is shared with the other kit as well. So there are going to be some duplicate parts that you won't use. Like here are the air intakes off of the older kit. But I'm sure they're like tools and some of these covers here that you'll use for the, uh, the late version of it. And finally we have our casemate here. The way they've molded that up. And now we're taking a look at all of the accessory pieces, the metal parts, and of course the decal. So you get some copper wire for the tow cables. We get our fret of photo etch. I'll try not to blind you too much. For the, uh, the air intakes, as well as this is the underside exhaust. And these are the metal parts right here that make up the rack in the back. So they've made that all out of photo etch. And you can see the little bolts on here too that I went on the 16 scale one and duplicated by putting bolts on there and of course I had someone on there tell me that that was wrong even though I've seen countless pictures of them with the bolts on it Tacom went ahead and put the bolts on it as well and you get this big fret here of this is probably aluminum maybe stainless steel of the side skirts that's really cool with that and then of course you get the two metal barrels so you got the 105 that you don't have to put the muzzle brake on if you don't want and then of course the 75 is right here and finally the decals that go on this kit very very basic but that's all you really need for this late war type stuff there wasn't a lot of markings on them to begin with now we'll take a quick look at the instructions and I'll show you those right now and here are the instructions it's the small scale instructions because they fit in the very small box we got a complete breakdown of all the parts that are inside here. And then I will just let you guys take a look at the instructions now.
Sorry, I just noticed I skipped that page right there. And finally, we've got our markings page. So there's quite a few different in ones in here. We've got the one with the 75, the one with the 105, another one with the 75, and one more in snow. Well, there you go, guys. There is a quick look at the new 2-in-1 kit from Tacom Blitz of the, uh, the Stug 3G late production. And as you saw, and there's lots of cool parts and lots of different opportunities to change it up and really build a nice looking kit. Now, we will have these up for pre-order on our website, andyshhq.com, as well as andyshhq.eu, very, very soon. We're just waiting for the final word from TACOM when they're going to be shipped to us, and an ETA that's closer that we can give out to the customer to let them know when they're actually due to arrive. But the, uh, the price on this kit, is this is the other great part about it, it's under $35 for this kit, and I think for all the detail and extra parts in it, it's really, really worth the price. So uh, keep checking our website, andyshhq.com, and we will have an update on those very, very soon. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.